On June 21st, 1983, a child was born in a rather sleepy Elizabeth City of North Carolina in the United States. Grandson to a rear admiral, son of a Coast Guard and a U.S. District County Clerk, brother to a lawyer of federal judicial court. With all his family working for the federal agencies of the U.S. government, he was always expected to follow into the family lines. A simple small town boy interested in Japanese culture and anime wanted to serve his nation and hence decided to join the U.S. Army during the Iraq War, but he couldn't do to stress fractures. Edward Joseph Snowden, a name widely renowned for good or bad, came into limelight during 2013 for leaking information and classified documents of the U.S. government. He worked with multiple companies and U.S. governments in SA from 2006 to 2013, but eventually had to run away to Hong Kong in mid-2013 and then later to Russia when he became a naturalized citizen in 2020. Edward Snowden, we found out, is now a Russian citizen. According to reports, he released thousands of documents revealing sensitive information about NSA and also about multiple surveillance programs run by government agencies to track their citizens. I think he damaged the security of the country. On September 2, 2020, a U.S. federal court ruled in United States v. Mullen that the U.S. intelligence's mass surveillance program exposed by Snowden was illegal and possibly unconstitutional. Snowden was working as an information analyst and this is the level of information he was able to get. What if instead of a government agency, a malicious agent had access to this level of information about so many citizens and companies? Privacy, security, information, data. The world is run on all these and any misplaced access can lead to chaos all over the world. This is where cybersecurity champions come into picture. From ethical hackers to network security engineers to security analysts, these professionals work tirelessly to safeguard your data from malicious players. The companies who own the day-to-day -day product you use, like social media tools, payment apps, storage apps, and over a dozen other pose serious threats to your information and security. These threats go beyond just individual security and have the capacity to topple international agencies and governments bringing them to their knees. Payments from crypto-related ransom attacks nearly doubled to a record $1 billion in 2023, blockchain analyst firm Chain Analysis said. Scammers targeting institutions such as hospitals, schools, and government offices for ransom pocketed $1.1 billion last year, compared with $567 million in 2022. Cybersecurity experts act as a multi-level line of defense against cyber attacks through all internet activity securing individuals, corporate giants, tech multinational companies, international agencies, and even governments. Hence, this extremely critical role demands a great pay and the demand for it continues to grow year after year. With beginner level salaries averaging around $75,000 with years of experience, it can go to above $200,000 for chief information officer level roles. Due to the extremely critical nature of this job role, there is a demand across all verticals, including defense, healthcare, banking, tech, and even education sector. If you want to become a cybersecurity engineer in 2024, here is how you can jumpstart your career in this field. We will split the entire learning path in three major sections, beginning with core concepts level topics. Then we will move on to intermediate skill-based topics. And eventually we will discuss what topics to learn in niche cybersecurity skills. Let us start with core concept level topics. Start with getting a thorough introduction to cybersecurity. Make sure to learn the basics of cybersecurity, including all the important terminology, types of threats, how these threats work, and what are the working principles in cybersecurity. From there, you can move on to Mastering networking fundamentals. This is an absolute must know to enter the field of cybersecurity. You need to be thorough with how the internet works, how the data highway functions right from the function of operating systems to understanding of TCPIP, OC model, routing, and switching every single one of these concepts are critically important. Make sure to keep these skills handy at all times since they help in understanding the overarching concepts easily. But it's not just the networking part of operating systems that you need to know. 
This is where the next important part comes into the picture. Operating systems. Proficiency in Windows, Linux, and possibly Mako's operating systems allows you to work across all domains. Being adept in each of these helps you become better at safeguarding the fault lines across them. This is critical for your day-to-day -day working since you will be directly iterating with these to perform your daily tasks. It is not unknown that mathematics and computer science go hand in hand. This extends to the field of cybersecurity too. You need to learn cryptography, where the knowledge of encryption, decryption, cryptographic algorithms, and protocols is very important. Next up is risk management, understanding risk assessment, mitigation strategies, and compliance frameworks like GDPR and HIPAA. Finally, you should also understand cybersecurity laws and ethics, awareness of legal and ethical considerations in cybersecurity. Let us now move on to two intermediate level skill and tools based topics, security technologies, familiarity with firewalls, intrusion detection prevention systems, antivirus software, and endpoint security. Vulnerability assessment and penetration testing hands-on experience with tools like Nessus, Metasploit, Nmap, and Burp Suite. Security operations, incident response, threat hunting, log analysis, and security information and event management. Secure coding practices, knowledge of secure software development practices, and common vulnerabilities like OWASP Top 10. Cloud security, understanding of cloud computing security principles and best practices, including Oz, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Mobile security, knowledge of mobile application security testing and best practices for securing mobile devices. Now that you have mastered core concepts and intermediate skills and tools based on your interest, you can move on and choose one of the niche fields for learning. Niche cybersecurity skills, Industrial Control Systems Security Understanding of SCADA systems, PLCS, and protocols like Modbus and DNP3 App Security Knowledge of securing Internet of Things and devices and protocols Blockchain Security Understanding of blockchain technology and its security implications Threat Intelligence Gathering, analyzing, and leveraging threat intelligence to enhance cybersecurity posture Reverse engineering, skill in analyzing malware and understanding its behavior. Red Team Blue Team exercises, participating in simulated attacks red team and defending against them blue team. With that said, we have reached towards the end of our video. This learning path covers a broad range of topics and skills necessary for a cybersecurity engineer in 2024, starting from foundational concepts to specialized areas within the field. You must make sure to stay updated and keep on aligning this learning path based on your requirements. If you have any questions about this learning path or cybersecurity in general that needs to be answered, make sure to let us know in the comment section below and we would be happy to help.